Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to identify and locate vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles are angles that are created when two straight lines cross one another. There's four angles that are created, two pairs of vertically opposite angles. Let's go through and see how they work. So, we have a straight line there and a straight line there. They cross and as you can see, angles here, angles there. The ones marked in green are vertically opposite. The ones marked in yellow are also vertically opposite. What you also notice are the vertically opposite angles are equal. So, this angle here is equal to that angle there. This is equal to that. And you can see that the size is exactly the same. That way we know they are equal and they are also equal. So vertically opposite angles are equal and they are directly opposite one another as you can see here. Let's try and locate some in this diagram here. Where is the vertically opposite angle to the red? We look, the red is there, the vertically opposite angle is directly opposite and there it is. This angle is vertically opposite to that angle there. Then we want to locate as well where is the vertically opposite angle to the blue. As you can see, blue angle there, right opposite is there. So vertically opposite and vertically opposite angles as you can see. Let's try this one and see if you can do this one yourself before I start. I'm looking for the vertically opposite angle to the red here and I'm also looking for the vertically opposite angle to the green. Have you figured it out yet? Think. Okay, the red, I can see the side and it's also directly opposite, very easy to locate. And the green, opposite, very easy to locate. Very straightforward. We mentioned that they are equal in size. So looking at this example, that concept is going to help us. X equals 110 degrees. Why? Because they are vertically opposite. This angle here is opposite to that angle there. So we say X equals to 110 degrees. That's the answer. But we remember we must give a reason. We have to give our reason. Our reason is vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. X is 110. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. Looking at this diagram here, we can see that we have a circle and we have two straight lines crossing one another inside the circle. Having the circle doesn't need to worry us at all. We just need to see and locate where are our vertically opposite angles. Yes, we can see straight line here, straight line there. Therefore, this angle is vertically opposite to that angle, which tells us we know already that they are equal in size because they are vertically opposite angles. Y equals 65 degrees. Our reason, vertically opposite angles. And I always tell my students, be careful, you have to give the reason. Without the reason, your answer is deficient. Your answer, you may lose marks, may even get it wrong altogether. You have to give a reason for your answer. You can't go to a test or do your homework and not fulfill that. You have to show your answer, y equals 65, but your reason is part of your answer. Don't forget that. As you can see, vertically opposite angles are opposite one another, very easy to locate, and they are equal in size.